but which group do you want to start with? I think you know. Well, what are you thinking? What are you thinking? Temptations. Yes, the Temptations. I just saw them too. I did. Oh, we too. just saw them. We were there. And guess what? Guess what that means. <gasps> no way. One, two. We haven't three. done this in a while. We right. right. <laughs> Woohoo! It only took us like, four weeks. Just saying. Oh my god. We swiped right. It's been a long time, my friend. It's been a long been a time long. since we swiped right. And we, we have. We, it's been a little while. Um, um, you, you go first. Temptations. Yeah, because uh, I was there. They were the opening act for the Beach Boys. Another 60s group. Yep. Which we, I'm sure, we'll talk about. Um, yeah, I'm sure we will. But um, yeah, it was just the original member of, of it was is 80 years old now. And he's still kicking god bless them yes the lead singer for those of you who don't know the lead singer is 80 eight zero years he's 80 years old and he's still live and kicking on stage it's crazy he, he's still kicking and god bless him yeah and they still and he's like the only founding member left he's the only yeah he's the only original member left yeah but hey because but it was just so cool seeing them in it was it was still so cool to see them in person because these guys are you know their group is old <laughs> they're legendary absolutely 100 percent. and uh you know because you were there with your lovely girlfriend miss molly and i was in the back with yes. some friends of mine and uh i was dancing like an awkward white dude <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure doing anything too proud to brag. I, I could have sworn I saw you jumping up and down. Hey, that's like that's actually my favorite Temptation song. So it's a great song. Hey, too proud to back. It's so good. Oh. She's darling, please don't leave me, girl. Don't you go. And to hear them actually, like to hear the, the to see the, it's one thing to hear the record from like the, like my girl. Ain't too proud to bag. Um, um, what's another one? I can't think of. Yeah, ready. Uh, get ready. Uh, it's one thing to hear these songs live back and you know, when they first came out, and it's nothing to hear them on Spotify and stuff. But to actually go see like the, a group like this live, it was incredible. Uh, it's like they still dance the way they do back then. They still, it's, it's, they are incredible. I was, it's funny. I saw them. That's not, that was my second time seeing. I don't know if I told you that. Yeah, you. The first time you saw them in um. I saw them at a, at a venue uh, that is um, on Long Island called the Westbury Theater. It's a very small theater. Uh, it's, it's about a thousand people. And I was one of, I was probably the youngest person there, not going to lie. But I was, I saw them in the four tops, which we'll talk about in a second, probably. But uh, I was, I literally left, the, I left, I left and I called my mom on the way home. And I was like, mom, Justin Bieber can suck it because that's how good that performance was. Straight well, up. This was the first time you saw them or? Yeah, because I, I, I was seeing something that was like so timeless <clears throat> reenacted in front of my eyes. You know what I mean? Oh, I absolutely agree. I mean, seeing them like seeing them dance, do the synchronized movements. It's like the original boy bands, but as Motown groups. <laughs> yeah, because when you think about it, a lot of the groups we're going to talk about tonight, the Temptations, when we talk about the Beatles, they were kind of the original boy bands. Once you think about it, a bunch of them were. Yeah. Once you think about it, they were the they were basically the original boy bands. Absolutely, bud. Absolutely. Um, but the Temptations are one of both one of our favorite groups uh, from the and Motown era. Yeah, I loved it. I it was so great seeing them. It really yeah. was. And you want to know something? And um, and again, we'll probably talk about this more when we talk about the other act that night. But um, but you, you said when you went to go see them the first time, you were like the youngest there, like. Have you noticed like the second time there was a actually a healthy amount of people like our age, maybe a little older? I agree. I mean, aside from my girlfriend, Bill, who are on our twenties or mid to or early to mid twenties or whatever. Um, we, it was nice to see other, like there's a couple of kids there too, which was great. I, I, they'll never forget that. I mean, like as, as great as like, Oh, it's the one, you know, it really truly is. There was That's, a there was a young couple sitting next to me when I was there when I was wearing the back and um yeah and 
I gotta tell you, like she was, she looked like she was having a damn good time. She was dancing the night away, and and um and and her boyfriend was just sitting there with the classic, "I don't want to be here." Look, I'm just here because my girlfriend dragged me here. Look, ah, uh, you know that, that classic look. The I'm just here because my girlfriend dragged me here. Yeah, that guy, that guy, <laughs> that guy. We yeah. all know that guy. It's not my girl. It's that guy. Ah, it's that guy. That guy. That guy. There you go. That's this a great me. song. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, it's so funny. Yeah. But, uh, that, yeah. Go ahead. Yeah, but anyway, um, yeah, but anyway, they put on a hell of a show, and like you know, there were some songs I didn't know, but most of the songs I knew, I was like, I was sitting there singing along to them. I'm like, yeah, yeah. I, it was a great it was a great opportunity to see them. Absolutely, my guy. Especially when they did the Everyone Rise for the Temptations National Anthem. Doom 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 As soon as those notes to that song Timeless are the most recognizable notes in human history, in music history. I second that. It's about there for sure. When you hear that Doom, doom, doom. When you hear that bass line, that doom, 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 you know what that song is. Absolutely. You know what it is. It's funny. I was looking this up before we started as well. The Spotify streaming numbers for The Temptations are not that high, of course, but the song My Girl, just letting you guys know that on Spotify, if you go to Spotify right now and you're looking up like, oh, how many, how many, you know, the song My Girl has literally half a billion streams. It, Bill just dropped his water. I'm not kidding. Like, I, I kid you not. That shows you how good music can be so many, literally 60-something years later. I'm just, I'm playing off my phone just so I make sure that I'm correct, but I, I, I the, the temptations, I want to make sure this is right. My girl, my girl, oh, excuse me. My girl has six currently as of August 31st, 2022. In this year of our Lord, 2022. In this year, the song My Girl has 632 million streams. Whoa. More than half of a billion people are listening to that song. That's great. It shows you how music can transcend time and this t- the Motown era of music is timeless when dr otis williams sadly passes away he like their music will live on forever it's the truth you know and this brings up an interesting question do you think maybe it's time for them to pack it in or do you think they could keep going as long as they freaking want i i think this is one of those groups that can go as long as they want